I'm Mike Roberts, president of First Nations Development Institute. First Nations comes at the food system work really from an economic development lens. We, and so we look at where economic development and food systems interact, which is a pretty strong intersection. Um, when you look at how um, income is distributed in reservation communities, um, average income is about $8,000 a year, less than half the median average. But you know, even poor folks spend a great deal of money, uh, their family income, on food, upwards of 30 or 40%. So if we can figure out ways to displace their personal spending, through community gardens or um, traditional food systems where they're not you know, driving 100 miles to the nearest Walmart, um, we, we can help those families find other uses for their money. Um, but more importantly, when we look at food systems from a tribal perspective, um, we look at you know, what the, whole, the community as a whole might spend on food. Um, and, and we get kind of geeked up about that because you start looking at you know, what institutions spend, whether they're elderly feeding programs, ch um, child um, daycare programs, any of those kinds of things, um, start looking at the kind of gross impact of spending on food, which these communities do, and you realize that there's some, there's some incredible economic opportunity um, for these tribes to create local economies around food.